Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we are making a third part to the rune basic guides that we have been making so far. So far we have talked about main stats and substats, rune management and layouts. Today we can finally get into the topic of grindstones and enchanted gemstones. Grindstones and enchanted gemstones can be obtained through a multitude of different ways. The first and most direct way of obtaining these resources is by farming them in their respective areas. Enchantment gemstones can be farmed in the Rift Beasts. So you'll see right here, by going through any of these Rift Beasts, you can farm enchantment gems of uh, the sets that you see here. And grindstones can be farmed in Rift Raid right here, where you'll see that you could potentially get grindstones right here. Your scores in the Rift Beasts, otherwise known as Beasts, determine the value of these gems. A grade or score of F will leave you with no gemstones. A grade or score of B will leave you with normal or rare gemstones, which obviously aren't good. And a score of triple S will leave you with high quality gemstones a decent amount of the time, anywhere from rare, the blue ones, all the way up to the orange legendary ones. In Riff Raid, the level that you fight on determines the quality of the grindstones that you get. Level 1 will get you awful grindstones of normal or magic, which you don't want to use these, you want to sell them. Level 3 will get you anywhere from magic to hero, which hero is going to be the only one that you're going to keep. And then level 5 will get you anywhere from rare to legendary. Other than that though, you can get them as rewards, sometimes through guild content, events, or you can craft them in the crafting building. You could also get them from like the world boss and all that, but um, more likely than anything you're going to either get them from events, or uh, labyrinth, or even like I mentioned the rift beasts or rift raid. Now you'll notice that to craft these grindstones or enchanted gemstones, you will have to use something called beast claws or beast horns. In my opinion, you should exchange the claws and the horns for grindstones since getting grinds is much more difficult than obtaining gems, especially in the beginning. Whenever I make a new account, the path that I go to when it comes to completing dungeons goes as such. First I go to the Giants, then I go to Rift Beasts, Dragons or Necropolis is the next uh, dungeon that I aim for, then Steel Fortress, then Punisher's Crypt, then Rift Raid. Rift Raid is the very last area that I'll go to, and as I've just mentioned before, Rift Raid is the place that you're going to be farming grindstones, so you won't be getting access to a bunch of grindstones till much later on, while on the other hand we are getting access to enchantment gems really early on. So it's better to exchange these right here for um, grindstones since you're going to be getting a lot of these in the beginning. Enchanted gemstones, otherwise known as gems, are items that you can use to change a substat on a rune as many times as you'd like. One thing to remember is that while you can change a substat an infinite amount of times, you can only change one. So it's like I could click on this like crit rate substat and as long as I have the gems I can just continuously roll it around or whatever and change it to whatever substat I'd like it to be. But one thing again that I got to keep in mind is I can only change this one. So once I click the check mark and I pick a gemstone and I click enchant, I cannot switch around the HP, crit damage, or attack. So again, while I can change the crit rate as many times as I'd like, and eventually I could just bring it right back to crit rate, I will not be able to change the attack, crit damage, or HP. Just like runes, enchantment gems come in sets. So if you want to change a substat of a rune, like a swift rune, you'll need swift gems. So for like this rage rune, you'll see that I have rage gems. If I want to change the substat on this uh, blade rune right here, I need blade gems. So you'll see I have different gemstones for everything. And you could even go to the stockpile right here to see this. So you'll see I have a bunch of enchantment gems. Don't know why you're here. <laughs> and a bunch of different grindstones. But you'll notice that they all have the same sets as the runes that they belong to. So this is a nemesis gem. This is a blade gem, and so on and so forth. These enchanted gems are easy to obtain for new players and are vital for any player trying to effectively and efficiently progress through the game. These gems can turn a decent rune into a really good rune that you might just use for a very long time. So now you're probably asking yourself, 
What are grindstones? Well, grindstones, just like enchantment gems, are items that you can use on your runes. But unlike gems, or gemstones, but we're going to use gems for short. Unlike gems, you use these to increase stats, not convert them. A couple of things that you should note, by the way, is just like gems, you do need to have them in sets. So a fatal grindstone works on fatal runes. The same way that a fatal gem will work on fatal runes. You cannot use a fatal grind or gem on an energy rune or a, va uh, or a violent rune. Another thing to note is unlike gemstones, which could really convert stats of any stat, so you can convert a flat attack substat to a crit rate substat, grinds work a little bit differently in the sense that they don't work for every substat. You'll notice here that we can choose between certain stats here, but crit rate, crit damage resistance, and accuracy are kind of grayed out. Grindstones do not work on crit rate, crit damage resistance, or accuracy. So you'll see that we have a rune right here that has nothing but crit rate, crit damage resistance, and accuracy. And we cannot bring any enchantment gems to it. And that's not because we're selling resistance grinds or, 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 or any of those grinds. It's again because you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to grind crit damage or crit rate or speed or accuracy. Or no, you can do speed, but accuracy or resistance. That's what I meant to say. But um, if you take a look at this down here, you see that while we couldn't get the resistance, we were able to grind out all these stats. I mean, we have another rune. Where is she? Right here. That is like I could bring a bunch of these grindstones to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start using some of these grindstones just for the sake of the video. Um, let's start off with this flat attack. You'll see that we have a legendary grindstone and that we have a purple grindstone. Obviously, the higher the quality grindstone, the better the outcome. So you'll see that this legendary grindstone that has flat attack on it has anywhere from 18 to 30. This 18 to 30 represents the range of which you can increase a stat by. So if I use this grindstone, this legendary grindstone, I can get a low number of 18 as a roll, or I can get a high number of 30. Of course, I'm gonna want the high number because the higher the number, the more stats that I get. So you'll see that this bottom one, the purple one, has a range of 12 to 22. While it does have a lower range, I can use this as many times as I want until I get a number that I want. So let's say that I want a number of 20. Right? I'm not trying to aim for 22, I just want 20, high enough to where it means something, but uh, not too high where I feel like I'm going to waste all my grindstone. So, let's roll it, we use it, we got a 16. 16 is in the range of 12 to 22, let's keep using it over and over again until we get the number that we want. So you'll notice that the number didn't change, it says 16 here, but then you see a 15 on the right. That shows that the grindstone that we just used would have given us a plus 15. If this happens, don't worry. If you had rolled a high number previously, it'll keep the highest number. So if my last grindstone would have given me a 20 and I used another grindstone and it gives a 14, it will not use the 14, it'll use the 16. So let's keep using this grindstone until we get the one we want. So this gave us another 16, we'll use it again. This time it gave us 18. So it replaced the 16 with an 18 since the 18 was the higher number. Let's keep going. Holy crap, we got a 22. So you'll notice that we have eight more grindstones, but we can't use it anymore. That's because we got the highest potential number out of that purple grindstone. So what it's gonna do is the only options that it's giving us left is the 18 through 30 grindstone, because you know that has a higher range so I can keep using it or grinding out this uh, substat in the hopes of getting a number higher than 22 because this grindstone can provide a number higher than 22. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to increase this attack substat. So boom, it gave us a plus 5. One thing to note is that if you've already grinded out and it, something like this attack substat, I, I'm going to hate doing this so much, <laughs> but if you've already grinded out a substat like attack percent, if you were to get like, oh my god, this is going to be so painful to do. But <laughs> if you were to bring a gem to a substat that is already grinded, what it will do is obviously it's going to erase it. Um, 
yeah I mean that should be obvious but just letting you guys know just in case oh that sucks <laughs> Okay, so to wrap up the video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over what the whole purpose of this video even was. Look, I don't think that it takes a genius or a rocket scientist to figure out what grindstones or gemstones even do. Eventually, you'll tap the screen enough times to accidentally use a grindstone or a gemstone. And if you didn't know what one was or what they even did till now, well now you know. And I don't blame you, it took me a long time to figure out what these things do, or what they even are, or how you even obtain them, but trust me. When I started gathering these suckers right here, these items right here, I couldn't stop gathering them. I realized just how important they were for an account. If you don't use them, you'll probably at best get monsters like this, right? With barely enough crit, maybe a good amount of crit damage, but not a whole lot of defense, right? This monster isn't exactly the craziest monster in the world. But when you start dabbling in grindstones and gems, you could potentially get monsters like this, like a, a Lucian that has a good amount of attack and crit damage, right? And I know this isn't the craziest Lucian, but your account can start looking much better. Your damage dealers will actually deal a whole bunch of damage. Your tanks will actually tank. Your supports will be fast, they'll be accurate. You'll actually have a much easier time going through the game. And you'll be able to access these things, these enchantment gems and grindstones really early on. When I tell you guys to go from giants to rift beasts, I mean it. And it's not just for the sake of, oh, this is my opinion and that's it. These enchantment gems and grindstones are the next step for your account. That's what's turning not so great looking monsters into great looking monsters. You guys have seen my series. If you haven't watched my series, I suggest you go watch any of my videos, especially like the Zero to Hero series that I'm working on right now. You'll see just how effective these gems and grinds are, especially for a new player. A month in, you could have very, very powerful monsters if you get to work on to, you know, collecting these grinds and gems. Though I will say that I want to make a video just kind of using these, like just randomly, not having to talk and go through explaining things to y'all, just use them and just show you how much of an effect they have. Like the Frankenstein you saw here, these don't have, he doesn't have any grinds on him, right? So what I want to do is, in the video after this, I'll either upload it tonight or tomorrow, I want to get this bulldozer who's fully maxed out, he has his rage runes, everything, he just needs to be gemmed and grind, and just show you the difference that these things are making. So um, stay tuned for that, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something or found this video enjoyable. I don't know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.